Hey everybody, Alessandro Camprodas here. Today we're gonna focus on the main blocking for the rest of the shot. So we're gonna do all the main key poses for the for the remaining part of the shot. And as you can see here, so we already did like the beginning pose. We did the main pose for the anticipation here. And now I did another pose for like when the character is actually stepping on the side. Uh, okay, so it's actually it's gonna move to the side and then do this uh, the jump. So we're gonna continue actually from from here. And as you can see here, I have on the side also the drawing that I sketched myself. It's flipped, it, but I'm gonna figure it out anyway. The poses, so it's not gonna be that challenging. And as usually, I start with the feet. I'm not gonna worry too much right now about the finger and everything because I think I'm gonna adjust the line of action of the finger while I do my breakdown and everything. So for now, I don't need necessarily like um, a great pose for the hands, something I'm gonna tweak later. And then try to have a little bit of compression because this is the down pose before the jump. So I'm gonna compress the body a little bit. And then I'm going to go to the extreme of the jump. Let's take a look. Okay, after this pause, you know, when you have to do like a jump with the twist and everything, for me it's kind of difficult to get the right sense of the rotation and, and the trajectory in step mode. Because there is so much going on in the character, everything is moving, the spine and the leg and everything, and there is quite a lot of change that I want to do. So it's really difficult to get the right sense with a few pauses in step mode. So after after I pause very quickly, the, the pelvis here and, and the foot, what I'm gonna do now, go into spline and, uh, and for a, just for a moment and just make sure I get the, the kind of jump right, or at least the rotation, um, let's say 80% right. 
So then I can go back to stem mode, tweak the poses and everything and then, and then move on. As you can see, so okay, something is going on here. We're having some gimbal lock problem. But actually, Heller Fjertel is not gonna help in this case, I already give it a try. So in this case, when you have all this problem, gimbal lock problem, uh, my, my solution for you is like using this secondary controller. Okay, and for, uh, so with this controller, you're gonna deal with this kind of rotation, this one and this one. And with this sim this other one, you're gonna deal with the twist rotation, okay? So let's gonna give it a try. I'm gonna do Windows animation graph editor. I'm gonna kill all the um, rotation key for, for the moment. It's gonna do this and this. And the rotation is gonna happen actually here. I can kill all the other key for the moment. Okay, set the key, okay, make sure the character is going this direction, we are going to rotate this one like this. As you can see, this one is continue to rotate this direction. Okay, and with this other one, with the main one, I'm gonna continue. Actually, what we wanna do is try to keep this one not not over three sixty. Okay. Okay, I think now it's a bit better. Maybe not exactly what we want, but we can still work on it with that. Um, let me do it. Okay, as you can see, there is still something going on at the very end. We can do something like this. Okay, make sure there is nothing else. Okay, I think in this case we have to kind of delete those keys. Okay. We adjust so far like the rotation, we managed to adjust it. If you go frame by frame you can see it much better than what we have before. Um, but definitely one of the things that I want to adjust is the trajectory. So make sure, you know, the is going high enough. So I'm going to push here, here, and here. And another thing I want to do is like check the trajectory of, of this. Okay, I wanna check what's going on in the upper body. Maybe here is something I wanna adjust, okay. Again, it's not perfect, but I, I think it does the trick. Time to fix the leg now and make sure at least you know the leg again kind of follow properly. Okay, it's following better. It's not perfect again, but it's something I'm gonna clean later, so I'm not too worried about it at the moment. We are doing now the other legs as well. 
And again, we have a little problem here with the with the rotation. So I'm gonna do is like in those animation graph editor, um, make sure I remove all those things, all the key for now for rotation as well. Okay, so as you can see now, the, the movement starts to be much more clean. After we give a quick pass on the jump, it's time now to finalize this last pose. I'm okay to have like a straight spine in this case, just maybe a little bit twisted this direction. I like to have this kind of line going on, oblique line. So you see kind of how it's tilted the head, you know, it's kind of facing staging wise. So I kind of want to have the same idea. And at the same time being very careful not to break the rig. So what I can do is like, you know, sometimes I used to this, using the shoulder to kind of cover the Let's try, let's try to have a really dynamic uh, pose. The really difficult part is try to get a sharp edge because as you can see here it's kind of getting broken. So we can try also to tilt a little bit the, the shape and scale it a tiny bit as well. After we refined this pose, I had a couple of them. I made the landing and actually the step forward here. Now we're gonna move to another pose, which is actually this one over here.
So try to keep in mind this line of action that is really important for me. Um, So for the face expression, we're going to have the same things that we had before. So I'm not going to go through all of it again. Okay, I'm gonna move to this other pose now, where it actually is throwing the ball. Again, let's start from the hip. So, I'm gonna move it really forward. And you want to have this contrast in the twist, okay? You want to have the leg pushing this way and the chest this way for balancing purpose. That's how you keep the character balance during those extreme uh, poses. Let's take a look at this one. You see how actually the body go this direction to the to the right side. So we're gonna do something similar.
twisting this control actually help a lot sometimes with the shape of the of the spine. Okay, for now I'm gonna leave it like this. It's not exactly what I want. I still wanted to push a bit more, but I'm I'm gonna give it a try to to adjust this during my blocking plus. So for now we're gonna just move on. I moved to the last pose of my shot, and as you can see, I'm trying to follow the video reference here, but it doesn't look as strong as much as I want. So I think this is like a good example of how can we push the line of action and the pose itself to make it really good, strong, and appealing. So usually I start from the shoulder line, okay. I maybe want to have like this kind of tilt line and then start with the spine, okay? And I mean this other line for the hip, following the line of action of the spine for the leg, okay? And maybe this one here. And this one I want to really let this arm be straight. Maybe and of course we can always exaggerate and push a little bit more when you actually go in the 3D. I know this part is, doesn't work really well, so it's something that I'll have to fix later on with a um, with a blend shape. But for now, let's go as closer as we can. So the pose here is done, and as you can see the contrast with the previous one is quite different. So the biggest change is definitely, as I mentioned, the line of action between the spine that goes to the leg here. Um, the contrast between the shoulder line and the hip. It's also very important for me, the contrast in the leg, which means one leg is straight and the other one is kind of going this direction. And, and of course like the head tilted kind of going looking here, and then of course like the the line of action you know of the arms as well so it creates like a long line here so you can really feel the the energy 
This is the end of the tutorial guys and as you can see I add a few other keys that are gonna help me in the next process during my blocking plus when I'm gonna add more in between and then break down keys. So especially here I finish all these other parts where the character is actually bouncing before cheering up at the very end. So at this stage the blocking looks like this. So as you can see guys, there is still a lot to do, especially when it comes to timing, but I'm gonna refine the timing when I'm gonna add all the breakdown keys and everything. So we're gonna push the timing, holding the pose where it's needed and so on. So I hope you enjoyed this part guys, if you have any questions, just let me know. See you next time!